This is a rapid revision about the discussion topics for the university practical examination. Now we are going to see the uh, nasal septum or medial wall of the nose. Nasal septum, first thing what we expect is, what are the three parts of the nasal septum? The one is the cuticular part, it is near the skin and second is the cartilaginous portion and third is the bony part. So three parts, cuti cuticular part, cartilaginous part and bony part. Cuticular part is formed by the skin and the uh, cartilaginous part is formed by the septal cartilage that is anterior and posterior superiorly by the perpendicular plate of palatine uh, ethmoid bone and posterior inferiorly by omer. So these are the bones forming the nasal septum and accessory bones you should tell about the sphenoidal crest, nasal crest and the maxillary crest and palatine crest. So these are the accessory bones which surrounds and forms the nasal septum. Then we have to concentrate about the blood supply and nerve supply for that look at this this is about the nerve supply so this is ethmoid near the ethmoid so near ethmoidal you have the nerve called anterior ethmoidal so you, here you should write anterior ethmoidal nerve and instead of writing one this is sphenoid right so it's here only inside that only you have the pterygopalatine ganglion so posterior nasal branches this is the nose posterior part of the nose you have the posterior nasal branches and then here you will be having the superior alveolar anterior superior alveolar and from here sometimes infraorbital branches will be coming so superior alveolar alveolar this is alveoli so anterior superior alveolar posterior nasal branches here greater palatine nerve and anterior ethmoidal nerve this these are the nerve supply for the nasal septum blood supply you have to talk about this is ethmoid bone so here you will be having the anterior ethmoidal artery posterior ethmoidal artery sphenopalatine artery greater palatine artery and from here this is slip so superior labial artery these are the arteries they form they supply the nasal septum and in the antero inferior part of the nasal septum you have a plexus this plexus is formed by anterior ethmoidal sphenopalatine greater palatine and superior labial you should not include the posterior ethmoidal since it is a small branch it will not come and form in the anastomosis this area is called as little seria and here if there is a uh, nose prick or uh, hypertension will lead to epistaxis epistaxis since bleeding through the nose and this nasal septum cannot be in the need not to be in the center part it can be deviated towards one side or the opposite side that is called deviated nasal septum so these are the points we expect in the viva so you look at this picture this is a nerve supply and here is the blood supply okay arterial supply so I said anterior ethmoidal posterior look at this posterior ethmoidal it's very small so it cannot participate in the Kieselbach's plexus this plexus is called as Kieselbach's plexus in the antero inferior part of the septum so sphenopalatine is coming and from here greater palatine is coming look at this and then this is the superior labial so these are the arteries they form the Kieselbach's plexus